Let's talk about tools to improve your fitness. Before we do that, however, I just wanna briefly remind everybody what constitutes a core or a foundational fitness program. Now, what I'm about to describe is not for the athlete that's trying to just improve one aspect of fitness or sports performance. So for instance, if you are a power lifter and your main goal is to move more weight on the core power lifting movements, or if you are somebody training for a marathon, it's likely that your core fitness program will differ substantially from what I'm about to describe. However, the vast majority of you are almost certainly trying to have some level of cardiovascular fitness. So the ability perhaps to run a mile or more, you almost certainly want some degree of strength. You want the ability to help move furniture. You want the ability certainly to not injure yourself when performing daily tasks. And perhaps you also want to be able to go out and play a pickup game of basketball or soccer, or to go out on a long hike with the family without feeling so sore that you have to rest in bed the next day. The core elements of it are that it include at least 150 minutes and ideally more like 200 minutes per week of so-called zone two cardio. But zone two cardio is for those of you that don't know, the type of cardiovascular exercise that you can do while maintaining a conversation without getting winded, but that if you were to push a little bit harder, that you would find it hard to complete your sentences. In general, zone two cardio is the sort that you can do while purely nasal breathing, unless you need to talk, of course, it's perfectly fine to talk while doing zone two cardio. And again, the scientific research tells us that we should all be getting at least 150 minutes and probably more like 200 minutes of zone two cardio per week. Now, in addition to that, a foundational or optimal fitness program for most people is going to include anywhere from two to four cardiovascular training sessions that are separate, that's right, separate from the zone two cardio, as well as two to four resistance or strength training, sometimes also aimed at hypertrophy or muscle growth training sessions. Now, we have to acknowledge that most people are probably not going to hit the upper threshold of all of those three things. Most people simply do not have the time and or discipline to get 200 minutes of zone two cardio per week, plus four resistance training sessions, plus four cardiovascular training sessions that are separate from the zone two cardio. As a consequence, the optimal fitness program includes three cardiovascular training sessions. So one longer duration, sort of typical endurance type training. This would be a long, slow jog or a long hike one day per week, as well as a shorter cardiovascular training session of about 25 to 30 minutes, moving a bit faster, getting the heart rate up a bit more, breathing a little bit harder, as well as one very short cardiovascular training session that would fall under the category of high intensity interval training, things like sprints, which don't necessarily have to be done running, could be done on a rower, could be done on a bike, et cetera. So three cardiovascular training sessions, as well as three resistance training sessions. One focusing specifically on leg training, one focused specifically on torso training, that's right, chest, shoulders, and back all together, as well as some neck training. And then a third session that was aimed at somewhat smaller body parts, biceps, triceps, calves, and some other small body parts that tend to be neglected and that are important to train if one wants to encourage muscular balance, both aesthetically and structurally to avoid injury and have excellent posture. So those were the core elements of that foundational fitness program. And I mentioned then, and I'll mention again now, that that program is not a mandate. It is not an absolute requirement for anyone to follow. It was simply meant as a template from which people could evaluate their own existing fitness program, perhaps modify it somewhat or a lot, or if you were interested in trying that specific fitness program, that you could do that.